Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Test It Tuesday. If you are new to my channel and you don't know what a Test It Tuesday is, I basically dedicate every Tuesdays here on my channel to trying out different types of products or items, whether it's food, drinks. Um, I haven't done drinks yet actually. I test out Beauty Hacks, Beauty products and see if they work. Like today's, we are going to be trying out an eyeliner hack, which kind of threw me off. I don't know where I this video originally came from, so if you guys know um, where it seriously started from, please leave it down in the comments below because I always like to give people credit from, um, like if I'm testing out something and I've already seen it on Instagram, Facebook, or here on YouTube, so please let me know in the comments down below if you know. So anyways, we're going to be trying out a, I guess it's a hack, where you apply your wing liner with none other than dental floss. When I first saw this, I was like, oh, hell no, I'm not doing that. But then I just got curious over time because I know a lot of us have trouble with wings, me being one of them. So um, yeah, I just wanted to put it to the test and see how it turned out. I was actually really surprised. If you guys wanna see the outcome of it and how to do it and the steps, then keep on watching. Okay, so I'm guessing you could only do this hack with gel eyeliner so that's what i'm going to use today i'm using blackest black from um l'oreal so what it looks like this has been my favorite um gel eyeliner for years and i'm barely hitting a pan you can't really see but i'm hitting the bottom of the jar so um yeah i'm going to use this and then i'm going to use a wet and wild angled brush to scoop it out and kind of paint on the liner on to the string part of the dental floss I'm guessing so I'm just gonna take a little bit I want to get a good amount like a good coat and then I'm gonna take the dental floss please try to remove like rinse it under water um, or just do what I did which just pop it in my mouth I know it's really gross but whatever it's going on my face so that's what I did um, because most of the dental flosses are flavored with mint on the string. So just try to remove that and now what we're going to do is paint on some black, paint on the string with some black liner. You want to get a good coat on there because um, you don't want to be going back and forth with applying this just in case. Like it, this is just one of those things where you want to like stamp it on and you will probably have trouble fixing it afterwards i'm guessing i don't know that's what we're just going to try out today so once i get a good coat on there what i'm going to do now is kind of angle it at whatever angle i want to do my liner in you could do more upwards to make it more chunkier or more longer to make your eyes look a little bit more wider i'm going to go a little bit in between i'm so scared like i don't want to get this near my eye um so let's let's place it um I do my liner kind of long, so I'm just going to place it right there. It's not that bad. Now I'm going to try to go, I want to put more liner on here though, just so I don't have to go back a few times. I'm going to add more on here and then take it directly into my eye once again hopefully I will get an even line so it's kind of hard to like maneuver it especially with these long as nails of mine I can't so I'm gonna uh, place it nope <laughs> this is so hard um let me see we did this one like that so it's because it sucks because like the little corners of it kind of poke your eyes so it's impossible okay never mind I think I got it or not crap I'm messing this up. This you definitely want to do your eyes first, and then um, the rest of your makeup on because this is gonna be a disaster. So now, once that's good, what you could do is either turn it over, 
and use the point aside but since it is gel liner I'm gonna just go ahead and grab another one grab some product and then I'm gonna go along this side to kind of connect the wing so you get the edge of it oh, how am I gonna do this um, can you guys see I'm not mad at it. Oh, that worked. This eye, though, is going to be um, the trouble eye. So I'm just going to take this again, add more product. I'm trying to keep it like the same product as um, like the same level. So I'm not going passing this line right here, which was the original one that I did the other eye with. That way I could kind of get the same line and not get an even and make sure it's even enough, I should say. So, let's go with the struggle wing. And, okay, this one's not my favorite. I don't, no. This one's better. I like this one better. Probably shouldn't be picking at my eye, but whatever. Okay, so now um, I'm going to take the same one that we did to make the line, put more product on there, and we're going to use this to fill in the lines that we created, and hopefully it comes out all right so we're just gonna continue I already got transfer if it transfers that means you applied too much um, liner so try to be careful I'm just gonna draw the rest oh, don't poke your eye out Not that hard. Not that bad. Uh, this one though. This one sucks. I'm like so quiet and concentrated. It's crazy because that's how much I want it to work. I don't, I don't know why this isn't working with this eye. It's, I mean, I'm still going to have to fix this with a little bit of concealer or some foundation, but it's not the worst wing I've done. I've done worse. So, it's not that bad. Wow. I mean, it's not a wing that I prefer to do, but it's somewhere. Just be careful when you go towards the inner corner of your eye, because if this pokes you, you're done for. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and try to fix this one off of camera, just because, I mean, look at it. So we're going to be right back, hopefully with an even um, more cleaned up wing. So yeah, I'm going to be right back. All right, so this is what the liner looks like. Once I am done completing the whole technique, um, it's not a wing that I like to do. I like more of a chunkier, you know, bolder wing, but this will have to do. Let me zoom you guys up a little bit so you guys can see. So that's what it looks like. Um, as you can see, it's not that sharp. My final thoughts on this, I kind of want to give it like, a, is it a hack or is it whack? I kind of want to give it, it's a hack because it does work even though it is a little bit difficult to use at first. Once you kind of get used to it, you know how to work, especially with like the pointed side of the floss. Um, 
you do have to get a good amount of liner on the actual floss though because otherwise you're going to be going in multiple times and actually um reapplying the liner so that could kind of get a little bit messy um it sucks that i didn't get to try it with liquid eyeliner but if you guys follow me on snapchat i will for sure be able to keep you guys updated on that like everything else i test out so yeah um like i said it's not an ideal wing it's not an ideal process for me to do but hey it gets the job done it doesn't get it done perfectly but we got it on no matter how many times we struggled i actually had to restart on my left eye because as you guys saw it was the one that was like really chunky and messed up so i had to restart on this eye but we managed we managed so yeah that's that so that is the end of the, I don't know, the, the testing, I guess. I don't know. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I do post videos two to three times a week, just depending, um, you know, on how I feel and if my creative juices are flowing. Follow me on Snapchat and Instagram. I am trying to be more active on those um so yeah if you want to see behind the scenes of what i'm gonna be recording or um you know just tutorials that i don't film for you guys here on youtube go ahead and follow me on snapchat i do post the looks afterwards on instagram i will have those listed down below in the description box so check that out if you're interested so with that being said i will talk to you guys on thursday bye everyone